Aylesbury and the property market have received a setback. Figures published today show that prices fell last month by just over 1%. Another fall in residential property prices, suggesting the market hasn't bottomed out yet. Today, the Central Statistics Office released its property price index for June, showing prices are continuing to slide. Nationally, prices were down 1.1% last month, reversing the slight increase of 0.2% in May. Altogether, the last 12 months have seen an overall 14.4% drop, with property prices now 50% lower than their peak in 2007. However, economists say the levels of decline are stabilising. The actual monthly changes are becoming less volatile. They're typically 1% or less either side, uh, plus or minus, whereas before we would have had minus 1.5%, minus 2% in some months. So I think that's probably the most encouraging thing for international investors. The market's trying to find a bottom. It's not going to get there in, in, in the first go, but it is, it is getting there bit by bit. The market is going to change every month. A sign of a market that is reaching a bottom is that it might tick up or tick down slightly from month to month. I certainly wouldn't take today as being overly negative unless that's a trend that continues. Then it could mean that we're going to go further down. On the ground, auctioneers and estate agents say some houses are even selling for higher than their asking prices. Asking prices have been exceeded on a number of places recently, uh, particularly for kind of three and four bedroom semi-detached homes with good gardens in the well-established suburban locations. The figures released today are probably reflecting transactions that were agreed you know, several weeks ago and not what's being agreed today. So what we're experiencing now in terms of the increases is likely to be reflected in the CSO figures probably in two to three, maybe four months' time. With the property market so closely linked to employment levels and with the jobless rate now at approximately 15%, economists say that the housing market is likely to remain volatile until unemployment has peaked and is on a downward trend. Siobhan Bastable, TV3 News.